Come on, dude, we gotta get ready for this TV show. Gotta find out where the producer wants us to be this week. You stay right there, old boy. Oh yeah, Carol, I am so excited about this program. And so is Miss Kitty and oh, Mr. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. yeah, I love this part of the country. Oh, I do too. Southwest Arizona. Isn't it beautiful? Folks, so glad you're watching this week. We love all of you. Got lots of music for you, teaching from the Bible. I know the program's going to help you, so stay tuned. We want to welcome you to This is Carol Robertson. And if you'll stay tuned for the next 30 minutes, Carol and Donna will encourage you to live your life for Jesus Christ. Welcome to the program today. We're here in Gammons Gulch, Arizona, having a wonderful time under the big blue sky. So glad you're watching, folks. 30 minutes of praising the Lord and Bible teaching that will change your life. So glad you're with us. We love all of you in Christ. Let's get started, shall we? Here's a song that I wrote a few months ago. I hope it'll be a blessing to you. It's a question that Jesus asked the blind man in Jericho. What wilt thou have me to do? Jesus was walking on the Jericho road. A blind man he met on the way. Cried out to Jesus, have mercy on me. This is what he heard Jesus say. What wilt thou have me to do while I am passing this way? What wilt thou have me to do? Jesus is asking today. He said that I might receive my sight Jesus said, do you believe? When he said Jesus was truly the Lord Blind Bartimaeus could see What wilt thou have me to do While I am passing this way? What wilt thou have me to do? Jesus is asking today What wilt thou have me to do While I am passing this way What wilt thou have me to do Jesus is asking today Jesus is asking today One of the songs on this new CD was written by Donna's uncle, Alville Mitchell. He was a wonderful guitar player and singer, but he played music in the secular world most of his life. He didn't serve the Lord. But they recently found a tape where he had recorded a song that he wrote before he died. And it's a song entitled, If I Could Live My Life Over. Listen to the message. If I could live my life over, oh, what a change there would be. I'd ask Jesus to take me and make me one of his own. And there'd be no more darkness, no more sin in my life, for he'd be there with me. Always shining so bright If I could only live My life over again I'd live it for Jesus And let Him be my friend I'd be ready to meet Him When I come 
So when he knocks, let Jesus come in. As you go through this old world, please take Jesus with you. And when you face all your troubles, he will see you through. And when you are tempted to stray into sin, if you'll knock, then Jesus will welcome you in. Oh, if I could only live my life over again, I'd live it for Jesus and let him be my friend I'd be ready to meet him when I come to the end so when he knocks please welcome him in so when he knocks let Jesus come in songs that you're hearing on today's program are on Carol's newest CD, Heart and Soul. Songs like Sing a Song. Sing a song All day long Suddenly there's a valley Suddenly there's a valley Where hope and love Begin. What wilt thou have me to do? What wilt thou have me to do while I 
I'm passing this way What wilt thou have me to do? Jesus is asking today Just a closer walk with thee I'll be satisfied as long as I walk Plus many more, including Donna and Carol together singing He Abides and Thank God I Am Free. Thank God I am free, free, free from this world of sin. Call today and make heart and soul part of your musical library, along with all of the other CDs and ministry materials that are available. Call today or visit us on the web at www.carolroberson.com. Friends, we hope you're enjoying the program today, and we want to tell you about a special trip we take each year to the Holy Land. For 20 years, the Lord has blessed us to be able to take many pilgrims to the land of Israel. It would change your life, folks. And the Lord has blessed us with one of the premier trips going to the Holy Land. We customize our own trips. 10 days in the land on the life of Jesus. Hope you can go with us. It's a trip of a lifetime. So get signed up and don't miss out on a trip that will truly change your life. Every spring, Carol and Donna lead a pilgrimage to the Holy Land. And we'd like to encourage you to make plans right now to go on our next Holy Land pilgrimage. For 10 days, you'll walk in the very same places that Jesus walked as we uncover treasures from the life of Christ that have changed many people's lives. Carol will teach you the Jewish roots of the Christian faith, and you'll gain a deeper understanding of the life of Jesus and His ministry in Galilee. Our tours are limited to small groups, so call today for information and a free brochure. If you enjoy Carol's style of music and teaching on this program, you'll have the time of your life traveling with him and Donna to Israel. Register soon because accommodations are limited and tours fill up. Call 1-800-523-3228 or visit us on the web at carolroberson.com. I sure hope you're enjoying the program this week. I hope the music is stirring your heart where you can praise the Lord with us. So glad to have you stop by this week. And folks, got something else I want to introduce to you. My newest book, Matthew, the Hebrew Gospel, Volume 1. I am so excited about this. For over 20 years, the Lord has led me to research Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John from the Jewish perspective. Did you know Matthew was written in Hebrew before it ever went to Greek? And we're going to be continuing our series this week. So lend an ear. This will take you to another level. Matthew, the Hebrew Gospel. Matthew was writing to Hebrew-speaking Jews in the first century. In the Greek thought, there are prophecies and fulfillment, but only from the philosophical viewpoint. In the Hebrew thought, there are prophecies and fulfillment, then there are certain patterns that result in a godly way of living. There is the contextual truth, and then there may be a hidden message within that context that pertains to the coming Messiah as well. Many times God had spoken through the prophets a deeper meaning than the prophets understood at that time. There are four major ways of interpreting the sacred scriptures from the Hebrew. Listen, number one. It's called the Peshat, the literal context of the passage, the true meaning. Number two, Ramez, a hint of something deeper, like a hint of the coming Messiah woven within a context or a Peshat. Number three is the Midrash, finding a meaning in the passage that is allegorical, something different than the true meaning, but is still applicable. And number four is the Sod, a secret hidden meaning, like a numerical value of a combination of letters and a certain word. The sacred scriptures were written by 40 authors, over a period of 2,000 years, and yet it is one integrated design by God. It's amazing. The truths had to originate outside the dimension of time from an eternal being. The scriptures fit together like a beautiful piece of woven tapestry. The gospels stand at the center of the Bible and depict our Savior in four different ways. Matthew depicts Jesus as the king and what he said. 
Mark's gospel depicts Jesus as the servant, what he did. Luke's gospel depicts Jesus as the man, what he felt. And John's gospel depicts Jesus as God, who he was. Matthew was a former tax collector, so he would have been an excellent accountant. He would have written his gospel on a scroll. The codex notebook style would not come along until later in the first century, which was used by the Apostle Paul. Matthew's gospel records the Sermon on the Mount in chapters 5, 6, and 7 with 111 verses. And 53 verses are used in the kingdom parables in Matthew 13. Matthew also mentions several instances of money in his gospel, showing his interest in finances, him being a former tax collector. The date of Matthew's gospel is unknown, but is believed now to have been the first gospel written. Some Hebrew scholars believe it was written not long after Jesus ascended back to heaven, possibly in the late 30s A.D. Schofield's Bible dates it at 37 A.D., and I would personally agree that it would be close to that. It has been the most influential gospel in the history of the church, and that is why it was placed as the first book of the New Testament in the canon of Scripture. Ignatius in 107 A.D. quotes Matthew's gospel, as does Polycarp in 156 A.D. and Justin Martyr in 165 A.D. The emphasis on Jesus being Israel's Messiah, the bridge between the Old and New Testaments, and the fulfillment of the promises that God made to Abraham, that salvation would not only come to Israel, but to the rest of the world as well, proves that God keeps His promises. As we embark on this spiritual journey through Matthew's gospel, I can't help but to be reminded of the similarities of the dark days of the first century and the dark days in which we live today. Matthew did not allow this to discourage him from writing his gospel. And we must not allow the unbelief of our day to discourage us from writing this commentary and applying these truths to our own lives. Just as the Messiah was God in the flesh, who lived and walked among us, experiencing all of the woes and struggles that we face, He won the victory. Jesus the Christ proved that through His power we too can have the victory. As we strive to be filled with His Spirit, we can walk in His footsteps. My prayer is that these truths will find a resting place in our hearts and will be applied to our daily lives. The Gospel of Jesus the Christ is truth accompanied by power. Carol's newest book, Matthew, the Hebrew Gospel, Volume 1, is now available. After years of Hebrew research, Carol has unlocked many untold secrets about the Gospel of Matthew. Did you know that Matthew was written in Hebrew before it was translated into Greek? Did you know that Matthew was probably the first Gospel written? Who was Matthew writing to, and why? What is the Hebrew meaning behind the words of Jesus, the Messiah? This book, Matthew, the Hebrew Gospel, contains in-depth truths in a way that's rarely found today and in a way that's easy to understand. This book is for Christians who desire to know how to interpret the scriptures from the original perspective. Matthew, the Hebrew Gospel, Volume 1. Order your copy today. This world is not my home I'm only passing through My treasures are laid up Somewhere beyond the blue The angels beckon me from heaven open door and I can't feel at home in this world anymore Oh Lord you know I have no friend like you If heaven's not my home then Lord what will I do The angels beckon me from heaven's open Feel at home in this world anymore 
Oh, I'm so excited to tell you about our upcoming Jesus is Real conference. And Jesus is going to become real to you folks. Yes. A free musical concert on Friday evening, Bible teaching all through the day on Saturday, and your registration fee does include a free breakfast mm -hmm. and a free lunch on Saturday. See, if you're interested, call the number on the screen and get registered today. There is limited seating available. Once I stood in the night With my head bowed low In the darkness as black as could be And my heart felt alone And I cried, oh Lord, don't hide your face from me Hold my hand all the way Every hour, every day From here to the great I may live in a palace so tall With great riches to call my own But I don't know a thing In this whole wide world That's worse than being Alone. Hold my hand all the way, every hour, every day, from here to the great unknown. From here to the great unknown Take my hand and let me stand Where no one stands May the Lord lift up His face and shine upon you. May He give you His wonderful peace in everything that you do. May His Spirit be fresh every day, as fresh as the morning dew. May the Lord lift up His face and shine upon you. May the Lord bless you with joy 
and fill you with love. May His light show you the way from heaven above. May He show you His perfect will. May you know His word is true. May the Lord lift up His face and shine upon you. May the Lord increase your faith when you pray. May He use you to bless someone today. May His Spirit be fresh every day, as fresh as the morning dew. May the Lord lift up His face and shine upon you. The reason we bring you these programs is to help you grow closer to our sweet Lord Jesus. Maybe the Holy Spirit has touched you in the program this week. The Lord loves you. He's got a great plan for your life. But the Bible says the only way to know the Father is through the Son. You must come through Christ, the Bible says. Repentance. We must repent of our sins turn from our old life and start walking with God. Do you really believe Jesus is the Son of God? That He died on the cross for all your sins and rose again? Hope you'll invite Him into your heart today. He's made such a difference in our lives. We certainly recommend Him to you. Christ can become real in your heart and mind. I hope and pray that'll be the case with your life. Thank you folks for watching. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your financial support to keep us on the air around the world. We love all of you. Till next week, may the Lord lift up His face and, and shine, shine upon, upon you. you. Carol Robertson Ministries is a member of the Evangelical Council for Financial Accountability.